This screencast uses the idea of boundary layers and boundary layer thickness, as well as flow regime, laminar or turbulent, and where the flow turns turbulent. So what we have here is we have a flat plate, and on that flat plate we have water that flows by it. It's the flat plate is oriented to the flow, and a boundary layer is created. And so we want to know at a distance of 0 0.5 meters down the plate, so something like this, where the boundary layer thickness is 6 millimeters, is the flow laminar or turbulent? So in order to find that out, we need to calculate the Reynolds number. Because if it's less than 5 times 10 to the 5th, it's laminar. If it's greater than 5 times 10 to the 5th, it's turbulent. So our Reynolds number is U times X divided by the kinematic viscosity of water. And we notice that we have our X, and we can certainly look up the viscosity, but we are missing our U. So we go back to what we're given, which is the boundary layer thickness, and we can use the relationship that the boundary layer thickness is 5 times the square root of the kinematic viscosity times x over big U, or our free stream velocity. We have everything except for U, so we can solve for it. So we rewrite this as U equals this kinematic viscosity times x times 5 over del squared. And when we put in our numbers, here's our kinematic viscosity, 1.12 times 10 to the minus 6 meters squared per second, and our x, which is 0 0.5 meters, and our 5 over 6 times 10 to the minus 3 meters squared, we come out with a velocity of about 0.39 meters per second. So now we can check the Reynolds number, 0.39 meters per second times 0 0.5 meters divided by 1.12 times 10 to the minus 6 meters squared per second, and we come out with a Reynolds number of 1.74 times 10 to the fifth, which is less than 5 times 10 to the fifth, so our flow is laminar. So let's see where the flow becomes turbulent, and that means that our Reynolds number has to be 5 times 10 to the fifth, so we can rewrite this as our x equals our critical Reynolds number times our kinematic viscosity divided by our free stream velocity, and we got this by rearranging our Reynolds number such that x equals Reynolds times the kinematic viscosity divided by u. So when we calculate our x critical, we find that it is 1.43 meters down the plate. What's the boundary layer thickness there? Again, we're going to use this equation, but now our x is going to be 1.43 meters. Everything else is going to stay the same. So this is going to be 5 times the square root of 1.12 times 10 to the minus 6 times 1.43 meters divided by, and this is all under the square root, 0.39 meters per second. And we find out that the boundary layer thickness there is 0 0.01 meters. One thing, though, that you have to remember is that we calculated this boundary layer thickness assuming at this point that the flow was still laminar.